What's up? What's happening? Listen, it's your boy, Trey Sense, and we got a little bit of a review, a little bit of a discussion. You know how we do it here on the channel. But listen, before we get into that, I got a little bit of news for you. I've entered into a little bit of a partnership with uh, JB's Butters. JB's Butters. I'm not gonna give out too much information just yet because I haven't received the butters that I want to tell you about. Uh, for those of you who don't know what JB's Butters is, it's it's a shea butter mixed with uh, a scent, mixed with different scents and fragrances to help extend the life of your fragrance. I'm looking forward to that. Now, if you are interested in shopping, you can go ahead and shop um, so I want to give you, yeah, you can go ahead and shop at JB's Butters. Uh, I will leave the link in the description below, or at least the website where you can find it and you can look and you can use code TRAY5 to receive 5% off of your purchase. That's TRAY5, T-R-A-5. Um, I spoke with JB and we got some things worked out and I will be receiving a couple of butters in the mail. I have his version of Tom Ford's Tobacco Vanilla and it is a great smelling lotion. It does last a very long time. The only problem is it doesn't necessarily go with everything. Um, the two fragrances are the two scents that I've selected I think are more versatile and we'll go with more fragrances and we'll talk about those when they come in so i don't want to go too far into that also a little bit of business like share and sub but again tray five and i will leave that in the description below also we'll leave where you can get a hold to jb and jb's butters now for what you came here for one two three four five six seven men's fragrances from my collection that in my opinion will keep you on her mind if she smells these fragrances on you. And I could have picked from a, from, from several different fragrances, but I like these, so let's get it. Let's get into it. All right. <clears throat> the first one is one I have not had all that long, but I am really impressed with this fragrance. I think it combines a lot of different fragrances from this particular house, from this particular line. The house is Giorgio Armani, the line is Aqua de Jo, and this is Aqua de Jo's Parfum. Now, I do want to pick up the EDP, which is the EDP is different from the Parfum, it's a different concentration. This one, I think, <coughs> excuse me, I think has the freshness of the original Aqua de Jo mixed with Profumo and Profundo. And I like it. I just think it's a great scent. It lasts a pretty good little while. I'll, and I'm going to give myself a squirt of this, man. This is just the, the first time I smelled this fragrance, I was like, wow, I really wasn't expecting it. But I just like it, man. I do. I, I really. I really do like this fragrance. And if you know anything about fragrances, then you know. The reason that I picked this one and the reason that I said I think this one will keep you on your mind is for two reasons. It smells a little bit like Profundo and it smells like Aqua de Jo. If you know fragrances and you know Aqua de Jo is one of women's favorite fragrances. That, that scent profile, that DNA, that light, fresh, airy, aquatic note, women love. And Profundo is no different. Mm. It just smells really, really good. And it's an easy to wear fragrance. It's not one that you have to overthink. This is a Swiss Army daily driver, easy to wear fragrance. I am so glad to have this in my collection. Man, that's just, that's just good. From the house of Aqua de Jo. From the house of Giorgio Armani, from the line of Aqua de Jo, it is Aqua de Jo's Parfum. Not to be confused with the EDP because they are different. They're different. The EDP is different from the Parfum. This next one is from the house of Paco. Paco, 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 Paco Rabanne. 
and it is one million royal, a royal if you're from the south. I'll give myself a squirt of this one too. Man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. Mm. I just spoke of JB's butter and I just spoke of my, the one that I have, which is Tom Ford's tobacco vanilla. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I could probably wear that particular butter with this. I'm just making sure I got my, my, my camera rolling. Because you know, one time I forgot to hit record and I did a whole 20 minute video. Ain't going down that track again. This time I'm on the right track and the right train. Bro, but man. This is so modern. This is so modern because you have a little bit of smokiness in the beginning. You have a little bit of sweetness. Oh. So easy to wear. And when you smell this off of somebody else, when like a customer of mine, Mr. Luster Eccles, wore this and came in the store. And when I did that, I got a whiff of that Aqua de Joe. Man. But, oh, man. Man, 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 I'm getting distracted because both of the both of these smell really, really good. But when you smell this one off of another person, you're gonna be like, man, what is that you wearing? Because that's how it hit me. I was like, did it smell like that on me? Did it smell that good on me? Because I could smell it and it was just like and, and I asked him, so what are you wearing? He said, uh, one million royal. And I was like, man, bro, that That's nice. That's nice. So one million royal. It's just got enough masculinity you know what i'm saying to 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 attract her but when she comes close and she comes in or if you you know get a little grown folk time and you after y'all leave the sizzler and you you know you're laying around on her bed and this gets in her sheets that's gonna be there for a minute and it's not too too overpowering. You definitely have a sweetness in there. I do pick up a little bit of uh, one million parfum in there, but nonetheless, I really, really like this fragrance. A little bit sweet, a little bit smoky, ashy, and a lot masculine. But the sweetness of this fragrance is what I like. From the house of one million, it is one. From the house of Paco Rabanne, the line of one million it is one million royal and i have to be so specific because there are people out there that watch us small time reviewers and just wait for us to make a mistake so they can point it out never said i was never said i was perfect but i am the homeboy that you can sit down and watch these videos with and just feel like your collection is good enough it's never my goal to make you feel like i'm an expert or that anything that you have isn't good enough that's never my goal my goal is to make you feel like maybe i should wear that one too i got that this next one the og of this fragrance takes me back to my childhood it, it's it's one of the first times i can remember getting a compliment on a fragrance and i'll never forget it Baseball has always been big in my town. I was at the baseball field, spring, wind blowing. I had on Davidoff's cool water. And the wind picked up. And somebody go, ooh, somebody smells good. And this was even before Snoop rapped about having his Johnson baby powder and cool water cologne. See, my mom kept me and my pot smelling good, man. Love you, mom. But anyway, this is a flanker. And I could have went with cool water intense but I went with cool water perfume this and intense is good too intense is good too but this this is just a little bit extra does it have a familiar DNA to it some might say it's a little bit invictus -y, but ah uh, you get a slightly fruity vibe, okay? Just a hint of fruit, and then you get that touch, that kiss of green from the original Cool Water. Mixed with a little bit of blue, a little bit of aquatic. This is just one that I think will 
keep you on her mind because not a lot of people are checking for cool water parfum. And for a budget friendly fragrance, because you can pick this big old bottle up for what, 50 bucks, 60 bucks if you shop. Man, see that's the thing about doing these videos. Every time I move, every time I move, I smell one in the floral in that one million. That's, that's a great fragrance. I'm smelling so good over here. And the freshness of that um, Aqua de Jo is coming through right about now. This is, this is, this is a reviewer's paradise, man. I got them three hitters. But I do like this one, man. I, I, I do like Cool Water Perfume. I think it's a really good fragrance but for the sake of videos can I reach that where are you at big dog you know what since it's just right here may as well yep I got him I got him since we're talking about cool water and since we're talking about the parfum and since we brought up Intense, you may as well. And that's what the levels are on that Intense. I've decanted this a lot. This one is a little bit greener. So if you want, in my opinion, if you want more of a aquatic and a wetter type of scent, then you need to go with the parfum. If you want a greener, sweeter, fresher aspect, then go with the intense. Honestly, you can't go wrong with either one of these, even if you go back and be like, well, I'm just going with the original Cool Waters. Good pick. Good job. Good job. I mean, because either of the three are going to rock and are going to keep you on our mind. Personally, whew, this is tough. Mm. This one's a little bit louder, a bit stronger. So I would definitely go with the perfume if I was going to be in a situation where, you know, I didn't pay for the sizzle. So she didn't got her, her, her salad. She didn't got her, her all she can eat meal and she got desserts. This time for her to do something strange for Treyway. This time for her to get right. She got to earn this meal. All right. So... Either one of those, Cool Waters Intense or Cool Waters Puffle. Either one of those will work great. This next one is one of my favorite scent profiles. This house is one of my favorite houses. This line is one of my favorites. And I could have went with either one of these as well. But I had to choose one. The house is Azaro. The line is Wanted. And this is Azaro's The Most Wanted. I have yet to add The Most Wanted Parfum, but I think... At the end of this month, I'm going to get that. Thanks to you guys, I'll receive a nice little check from YouTube. Thanks to you guys. I appreciate that so much. And I think that's what I'm going to pick up is the most wanted parfum. Now, this bad boy right here. And again, I could have went with wanted parfum. I could have went with wanted by night. If you have that, if you have wanted, wanted by night, all those are good. Wanted Parfum, even Wanted Tonic is a good one. But don't sleep on Wanted by Night. It is a compliment monster. Oh, but this bad boy right here. Let me tell you about this, about this delicious little gem right here. Much like the Royal in the beginning, you get this smokiness, this ashy, almost like, you know, bad boy type of attitude from it you get this attitude you get i see why they call it wanted i i get it i get why they call it wanted and then as it dries down you that smokiness starts to break up that it's not really a smoky it's more of a, a resinous ash you know and then that fruit starts to come through it oh yeah Oh yeah, and then that sweetness starts to come through. Either way, 
This is one of those fragrances, man, when you riding in the car and you got a little bit of Jodeci playing and y'all leaned in, you know, you leaned over and you talking. You, know, yeah, I, you had a good time. Yeah, I saw you eat three of them steaks. Good, but you know, it was all you can eat. So I saw you, you liking it. You riding and you talking to it, you know, yeah, yeah. And then you pull up back at the crib and you waiting on her to, you know, ask you to come in. You know, you know how this go. This is one I just think, you know, when she come around you, man, and you got it all up in here. Yeah, yeah, I think she's gonna like this. And the thing about this list is none of these fragrances are A, hard to get. None of them are overly expensive. Um, I think this one, well, in this size bottle, you can get for about 60 to 70 bucks. The Royal is over 100. The Aqua de Joe is over 100. Uh, but the two cool waters are extremely cheap. So, I mean, it it balances out anywhere from 150 down for everything on this list. But, you know, sometimes you get what you pay for. You know, I'm a cheapy king. I love inexpensive fragrances. But at the same time, sometimes you just have to break bank and just buy what you want. Because life is short. But sweet, smoky, resinous. I just like it. It's got an edge to it. And I think... That'll have her saying to her friend, I don't know what he had on, but I liked it. So this next one is from the house of John Paul Gautier, Gautier, however you say it, and it is Ultramel. And this is just, it's something about this fragrance that women just like it. I mean, I, I see women do videos. Oh. I don't even have to put that up to my nose. I think it's the Ambroxan in it that they like. I, hey, whatever. Who knows what them fickle creatures, man. But I know they're going get to get to used to eating a sizzler around here. Mm-hmm. All of these have one thing in common. Sweetness. All of them have a certain level of sweetness. This almost could have been a cool water flanker in my opinion because I, I pick up on that freshness I pick up on some green pick up on some aquatic mm. that's just nice man conversation starter of a fragrance is what you get with this just sweet and easy to wear I like it doesn't have the smokiness in it that you get from uh, uh, the most one. It doesn't have a floral type rose note that you get from Royal. Um, doesn't have as much freshness or uh, aquaticness that you're going to get from the Aqua de Jo. But it just holds its own. To me, it's more of a fruity slash clean. And when I say fruity, I don't mean that that you're gonna be blown away by the fruits in it. I mean, you're gonna pick up on the fruits, but they're not, it, it's not the star of the show. The fragrance is just supremely blended and all of these are, and it just, the notes form chords and they just smell good. <sighs> Definitely a little bit fresh and a little bit green, but from the house of John Paul Gaultier, it's Ultra Mel. Ultra Mel, Ultra Mall, however you wanna say it. This next one, this may be my favorite line. This may be one of my favorite lines, and this house has slowly become one of my favorites. The house is YSL. The line is Y. So we have YSL's Y Puffle. And again, very similar with all of these fragrances here as it is a fruity, fruity, very playful. But at the same time, <laughs> if that was the reinvention of slick or the reincarnation of smooth, that's what you would have with this fragrance. It's just so chill and so easy. Yes, yes. And the thing that I like about this YSL Y 
is you can wear this with anything. You could put this on with a nice pair of jeans and a polo shirt or a nice pair of jeans and a t-shirt. Or you could put it on with a track suit or you could put it on with some, with some joggers and a nice hoodie. There's nothing that you can't put this fragrance on and it's going to smell really, really nice. It's what, around 100, 150 bucks, depending on what size bottle that you get. Man, that's just good, guys. This is definitely one that you need to get. I am also looking for YSLY Live. So if anybody has a bottle of YSLY Live that they're interested in getting off of, you can email your boy in. You know, I'll look at taking it off your hands. But this one, man, very smooth, a little bit blue. Again, not an aquatic, a little bit fruity. We don't have any smokiness or any, you know, woods, at least coming off the atomizer. Now, mind you, I didn't spray this. But what you have is just a very, really good fragrance. I think YSL did a great job with this one. This has been a fun video for me to do. And last but not least, this fragrance right here. Oh, this fragrance right here, man. It's a conversation starter. Oh. It's a great little fragrance. Because <laughs> I just had, a, had an issue with the cap, man. Whew. And this fragrance will always be near and dear to my heart. Because when I was in Texas, it was one of the first fragrances we picked up. When we went to the scent room, Nishanae's Banyan Flames. This is one of the first fragrances we, we, we picked up because we walked in the door and there, there the Nishanae was. We just turned to our right and there it was. So it was just like, so we all just started picking up. And then, you know, so it has a, a nostalgic place in my heart. But every time I've worn this fragrance around a lady, it gets compliments. It, it, it gets compliments. It's got a little bit of a tropical vibe. Uh, this one I think could easily be unisex, but it's got a little bit of a tropical vibe. And Fan Your Flames is such a great name for it because even though it's tropical, a little bit of a coconut vibe, it's warm and it's inviting and it's just invigorating. It's just, it just says, come here. Uh, again, the coconut in it. Or at least the notes that I pick up on give it a coconut vibe. I don't know if coconut is even listed as one of the vi uh, notes, but that's the vibe that I get. It's just, yeah, that's nice right there, man. That's nice. That, that brings back such good memories of, of being in Texas with the homeboy, JP and Manuel from Manuel's House of Aromas and, and, and having a great time and kicking it with my family and friends out there. Uh, I will be going back to Texas really, really soon. But from the house of Nishane, and of course, this is a, a, a parfum. No, it's an EDP. I like to say it again. But this is a great, a great fragrance. And I mean, how do you not like a fragrance that has the colors of blue and gold? Kind of reminds you of a Notre Dame thing going on. But yeah, this is just warm, tropical, easy inviting and it may be the most expensive fragrance on the list i don't know because again that royal was around 130 i don't i think if you shop right you can get nishane fragrances because they don't come in the biggest bottles i think you can get them at decent prices if you shop right but i don't think anything on, on here exceeds 150 um but nonetheless really good fragrances again uh partnership with jb's butter i will leave the link in the description below if you do some shopping it won't hurt you to go look and you may find something that you like uh, use code tray five and get five percent off of your order but anyway man I'm going to get off of here edit this thumbnail it and get it up so you guys can watch it I hope you all are having a beautiful beautiful day and all of that good stuff it is my last day of work so by the time y'all see this, it'll be my Friday. So I hope you all have a beautiful day. Thank you so much for returning to the scene of the crime. Again, JB's Butters, Trey, five for 5% off your order.
Thank you for returning to the scene of the crime. Until next time, guys. Peace.